Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I clean and prepare artichokes and then we're going to make them into delicious marinated artichokes like the kind that you find in jars in the grocery store. Let's get into it. What I have here are little mini small artichokes. They do come in different sizes and I personally like to cook with the small ones the best. When you're looking at the anatomy of an artichoke, the heart is actually located in the bottom and the stem is really tender and delicious. You don't want to get rid of that. The tops can be really prickly and these are the parts that are going to try to injure you. We want to get rid of the top part. We're going to cut that off. And then the outer leaves, these can be really wooden and they're not very pleasant to eat. So with the small artichokes, we can just get rid of those and then the inner leaves are gonna be nice and tender. The next thing I'm going to do is just trim off the outer wooden part of the bottom. We're left with our cleaned artichoke. And sometimes they have a purple flower inside, but the small artichokes usually do not, especially if they're young, fresh ones like this. And cut open, you can see that there is no purple flower inside this one. While I work on the rest of the batch, I am going to soak these in some lemon water so that they don't turn brown. And I'll get to it. I have a lot of artichokes to clean, so. I'll meet you here in a bit. <laughs> After about 20 minutes of work, I finally have all these artichokes cleaned. I'm gonna show you an example of one that has a little flower in it. This one you can see, kind of, there's a little purple flower in the middle, and that is gonna be super unpleasant to eat because um, it's gonna stab you in the tongue. So I just pull it out like this, maintaining the rest of the artichoke, get rid of this little flower, it goes into our scrap pile. So now I have a bowl of all of my halved artichokes. And like I said, they're just little minis, the tiny little artichoke guys. Now I'm gonna strain this because the water's a little bit dirty. I'm gonna discard the scraps and I'm going to put it in a pot with new lemon water. This water is full of like dirt and stuff from inside the artichoke. So we don't wanna cook them in that. I have just a little saucepan here and I'm gonna put the juice of one lemon. I'm gonna throw my artichokes in and then we will top it up with water and then we will simmer them until they're nice and soft. If you take a look, see there, the artichokes are just covered in water and now I'm going to simmer them on medium heat and basically we just want to cook them until they're nice and tender and then we're going to pull them off and strain them. I'm adding a half cup of apple cider vinegar, one cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of dried basil, one tablespoon of dried oregano, and then half a teaspoon of salt. The artichokes are done. The artichokes have been simmering for about 15 minutes and they are now fork tender. So I'm going to strain them and then we're gonna add them to our marinade. And to test that they're ready, that they're fork tender, obviously I just poke it with the fork and it should go in very easily and they should be nice and soft. Now let's shake up the marinade a little bit before we put them in. I put them in hot. I don't actually cool them down before I put them in the marinade. However, I do not put them directly in the fridge. So first I put them in the marinade, I let it come down to room temperature, then I put it in the fridge. The final thing to add is, ah, one clove of garlic. This didn't happen as smoothly as I thought it would. I'm gonna grate this garlic with this grater and put it into the dressing. Now I will very carefully load my artichokes into the jar. We can't allow any runaway artichokes after the amount of labor and effort that goes into cleaning them, so don't lose any to the floor. Okay, now the artichokes are in the jar. We will shake it one more time. Let's get them nice and coated. Oh baby, look at that. Ta-da, they're done. Um, 
You can do so much with these artichokes. You can put them on toast. Oh, spectacular. Get a piece of sourdough bread, slice of prosciutto, some of these artichokes on top, put it in the oven, toast it until it's nice and warm throughout. It is so good, okay? But you can also just eat these as part of your antipasto bar. You can put them on a sandwich. You can toss them with pasta, which is probably how I'm gonna eat them for dinner tonight. Um, this jar, I usually try to finish within three to four days in the fridge, just because we're obviously not um, sealing it properly. Like, you know, if you were jarring things to preserve, we're not preserving it, we're just marinating them. This is a great time to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have been watching this video and enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your artichokes. Bye.